okay, when you create the jobs, when you do this all the job in Malacca, so what the Malacca say, collaborate with you, help you to do, because I heard that you have to spend a lot of money to invest in Malacca. Yes. What's supposed to be the government, government Malacca to help you for this? Yes. Of course, I hope that the government can help me to do more uh, fashion shows in Malacca itself, but can use my facilities. But to give students from university a chance to portray their, their, their talent. And also, I hope that uh, Malaysia will, uh, Malacca government can help me to groom brands under SDG. These brands are not all famous brands. Some are just normal brands. But if we give a chance to them and groom them up, you know, then uh, we can actually bring them into international status. When they become international status, it's the same. Maybe it's SDG, maybe it's, uh, it's uh, just now that it's uh, quite a few brands. It's that brand hotel, you know, that can be used all over the world. And to groom this brand into international, I am using SDG, which is what I am doing, and I am grouping all the um, this uh, fashion designers together. So, for example, like overseas, uh, when you go to a fashion designer uh, um, course or university, they even invite Kelvin Klein, you know, all these big, big uh, fashion designer to give a talk to 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 inspire the fashion designers. I alone doesn't have that power to invite Kelvin Klein, Armani and all that to come to Malaysia and give a talk to our student. But I think if the state says so, if the government do it, I think it's a good invitation to bring them here, you know, just give a talk, inspire our people. This is, this is a way of life because still in Malaysia, parents here especially, Please be a lawyer, you know, be a lawyer. I'm a lawyer by profession myself, but I'm not a lawyer anymore. I've turned into a developer. Now I'm in culture and arts and I blend all this fashion, culture and arts into the sale, my property to make a value out of it. But a lot of parents here is still thinking, you know, you have to be an accountant, an auditor and all that. But with this, if government can support me to get hold of all these big, big names overseas to come and inspire us, then Malaysia will create our own very own fashion designers brand. So this would be, I, I'm hoping it's SDG because SDG consists of all the brands, upcoming brands. With SDG going up, we will get all of them to go up together and hopefully in the future becoming international and then we can actually stand a chance to actually not compete lah, but to uh, be with in line with international brands. Okay, that's a funny question for me. Uh, okay. Despite all the tourist attraction in Malacca or many attraction in Malacca that are able to be fully utilized by the, mm. by the government or anybody in Malacca, mm. yes, they, uh, but your SDG is still booming and developing. So, nowadays, like, there are lots of millennium virus and everything like that affect the economy of Malacca or Malaysia itself. Mm. So, how you are uh, beware, you make a further step, positive step to maybe penetrate the market at the same time, beware of the Lots of new viruses, new pandemic that can maybe affect the economy also as it is. Yes, of course, when I started this uh, so called fashion industry during the pandemic, the response is not very good, of course. Uh, uh, what is it to do with model? You know, modeling is no good, you're showing off yourself and all that. Look at today, there's no showing off, you know, you're all covered, okay? <laughs> so, it's, it's an art. It's an art. So I face all the hurdles, but I believe in it and I keep going. So when I put the fashion into my tower, which is a 1B, 1B ring in Malaysia worth of tower, and they changes the concept because it's like making Malacca a fashion city. It is not making a model international, making a fashion designer international. Next, it's not that only. It's more than that. Yaji. It's booming the whole economy in Malacca, in Malaysia. So when, when we have a fashion hotel, it's just like Armani Hotel. When I go to Dubai, I want to go to Armani Hotel and experience. I've stayed there before. I've stayed in Beijing, Bulgari Hotel before. It's very nice. When I go in, there's a lot of handbags. Huh? It's like, you know, this is a shopping center or what. But, but it's a hotel. 
and it's it's very nice and when i go into the kitchen i go into the room that is bulgari pan bulgari table bulgari what why, why not we can have this kind of thing in malaysia also <laughs> oh, i have to pay <laughs> i have to pay when i go there because i want to explore that is before the pandemic but when the pandemic sets in this idea comes up yes yeah.